Hey guys, I haven't been on social media in a while, but today was a really important day. Today, Senate passed a piece of legislation. It's an amendment to the CARES Act, and it's expected to now go, it will go to the House on Thursday, and it's expected to pass. It's a really important bill. What it does, it allocates an additional $310 billion into the Triple P, the Paycheck Protection Program. It also allocates $60 billion into the EIDL program, the Economic Injury Disaster Loan Program. Of that 60, $10 billion are allocated towards the emergency grants, the 10K, the 1K per employee, where you don't have to pay that money back, right? And then what's really important in this legislation is that $30 billion of the th additional 310 for the Triple P are specifically guaranteed for small uh, credit union lenders and community bank lenders. So that's, that $30 billion is so massively important. A lot of people trying to get a triple P loan from their bank, their bank would then say, a lot of these community banks would say, hey, we're not offering the triple P because a lot of the big banks had already exhausted the funds. There were stories about Bank of America had tapped it out within the first week of it rolling out. So the fact now that community banks are guaranteed at least $30 billion access to triple P funds means that more smaller businesses and organizations should be able to successfully apply for a triple P fund. That's the goal. We'll see how it gets implemented in guidance, and let's see if this passes the House, although it's anticipated that it will. This was one of the major stands that Democrats were holding for to make sure the democratization of these loans after some of the headlines we've been seeing, like Ruth's Chris and other, and other companies. Another thing about this amendment that's so important to know, guys, there's an additional $75 billion going towards hospitals that covers PPE, personal protective equipment, and this also has $25 billion allocated towards coronavirus testing. And so there's, so, you know, beyond business relief, you know, what's important for businesses is knowing that the health crisis is getting covered as well. Been a part of a few conversations where, look, you know, businesses can reopen, but will the consumer, will the average person feel comfortable about going out? And this is all tied to economics. This is all tied to health. All of it's interconnected, right? And so what's great about this is that we're seeing an additional $100 billion being put into uh, hospitals and to coronavirus testing that can hopefully get us out of this pandemic and towards a brighter future and also including economic recovery. Okay, so to recap... This is an amendment to the CARES Act that's passed in the Senate. The House needs to vote on it, and that'll happen this Thursday. Hopefully there are no hiccups, it gets passed in the House, and this gets one step closer to being law. This allows for an additional $310 billion into the Triple P, right? This also allows for an additional $60 billion into the EIDL program, $10 billion of which is towards more emergency grants. And then there is an additional $100 billion dedicated to hospitals and more testing, more coronavirus testing. Important takeaway also, remember, $30 billion of that 310 is reserved for community banks. So what that means, if you went to your community bank and they did not have the Triple P program or they rejected you, try again after this passes, hopefully the house and becomes into law because they might be able to give you a Triple P loan. More updates. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, there'll be more updates. I'm working on an initiative this week. I'm excited to reveal tomorrow um, with a lot of great community partners. Look, we're all in this to figure this out. Let's find real information. Let's make sure that everything we're looking for is direct information, right? Uh, and the more that we can get better facts, the more that we can really figure out what is needed for us, for our businesses, for anything that we're doing, right? Clarity with good information. That's the goal. Stay calm. Everyone stay happy and healthy. More soon. Have a great night, guys.